Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm working on my 2003 Kia Sorento. Over the weekend, I blew a hole somewhere in the rear of the engine and the car started overheating. Now these Kia Sorentos have a very common issue with blowing a heater hose that's in the back side of the engine and it's gonna look similar to this. So I'm crossing my fingers that that's the case and it's not something major. Now in order to get access to this hose, you do need to remove your wiper blades along with this uh, plastic cover right here. And then you do need to remove your engine cover as well. I do have a great video showing you guys how to remove all of this stuff in detail. Um, so if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave a link up in there so that you can check it out in detail. Before you start removing anything, make sure that you drain the coolant out of the vehicle. In order to do that, go ahead and go towards the front. And then on the bottom, there should be a splash shield. If you look through one of the holes, you'll find a plug that has a Phillips type head. Go ahead and loosen that plug up and then it will drain your coolant. While you let your coolant drain, go ahead and remove everything on the top part of the engine so that we have access to the heater hose. Now that we have more room to work with, go ahead and look for your heater hose. The easiest way to find it is to follow your coolant reservoir. Towards the back side of it, there's two hoses. Um, the bottom one is the one that's the heater hose. So go ahead and follow that hose towards the back and then there should be a Y-shaped connection right there. You guys can see that. And then if you follow that more towards the back, there is another connection um, that is connecting to the engine. Um, in order to remove it, you do need to remove these clamps right here. So there's one right there and one right there. And then there's another one on the other side. But in order to verify that this is our issue, I'm going to go ahead and fill the car up with coolant and water again. And then I'm going to run it to see if we can see water leaking out of there. I went ahead and filled up the coolant reservoir and the radiator again. So that we can verify that our leak is the white bracket heater hose. Now if you go towards this side of the engine, in the back side, you'll be able to see that the water is leaking out. So let me go ahead and give you guys a better shot. As you guys saw from the video, you can already tell that the hose next to the Y hose is the one that's actually broken. Now, I am going to be replacing both of the hoses just so that I can avoid any issues down the road. And I would probably recommend you guys to replace both of them since it does take a, quite a long time to remove all of this stuff out of the way. And it only makes sense to replace both of them at the same time. Finally, I was able to remove the heater hoses out of the vehicle. So right here on the left hand side, I have the Y heater hose. This one actually surprisingly was not leaking, but I ended up cutting it to remove it and I found out that the hose itself was breaking down. So eventually it was going to start to leak, as you guys can see there. Um, so it is a good idea to probably replace both of these guys at the same time. Now, if you look at this one right here, this is the one that was actually leaking. It actually bulged out in the middle and it teared up. So this is why it was leaking. I am going to be replacing both of them with Gates um, heater hoses. So hopefully they do last a long time. Install your new heater hose by doing the opposite of what you did to remove it. 
it is very crowded in there so i apologize if i didn't get to show you how to remove it in detail but as long as you're able to get it out you'll pretty much have a good idea of how to put it back in i went ahead and installed the new heater hoses as you guys can see i have them clamped down and they're ready to go all we need to do now is fill our reservoir right here before you put everything back together make sure that your hoses are not leaking In my particular case, everything is dry, so that means that the issue is resolved. If you guys did find this video helpful, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.